I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. This week I want to continue our series on high efficiency I'll talk to you about uh, an irrigator called the Deep Capsule. It's very similar to an Oya in that it is unglazed terracotta, uh, but the way it's set up you can vary how deep it is in the soil. And so uh, I'll show you how to make one. To make a buried capsule you'll need a few things. <coughs> you'll need a terracotta pot, this is a 23 centimetre one. You'll need a terracotta pot saucer. This is a 21 centimetre pot saucer because it was the closest I could get. Needs to be able to fit roughly on top. We'll be using silicone to seal it so it doesn't need to be an exact fit. Now to make the area where we're going to, uh, to fill it from, you'll need two of these fittings which have a 19 millimetre barb on one end and a 15 millimetre screw fitting on the other. You need two of those need a uh, female to female 15 millimeter coupling which I'm going to cut some slices off and you'll need some 19 millimeter tubing so this is the 15 millimeter to 15 millimeter female to female coupling that I'm going to take some slices off So to start out, we're going to put the fittings into the pot because they need to be um, screwed solidly in place and to be silicon so they seal. So we have to do that before we put the bottom on. So if we get hold of one of our um, 19 to 15 millimeter fittings and one of the slices that are cut off this guy with the uh, my little bandsaw and screw it down to the end as tightly as possible. Then what happens, we fit that through the hole in the pot and then inside we grab one of the other slices out of the 15 to 15 millimeter coupling and then screw it in so we've got as good a fit as we can get. So that means we have this sitting out the top. Now it's a lot easier at this point to silicon in the fitting so that when we fill it up we don't get any leakage. And you might think that that's not important because it's going to be leaking into the soil. Um, but to be able to know whether you've got your uh, buried capsule filled well enough or not and I'll show you what that's all about a bit later. We need to have the... Now with on. the bottom fitting siliconed in, it's all time to apply the pot saucer. So I've got it set up on a couple of blocks here so that the uh, silicon go, can go off on the fitting. Uh, while we don't waste any time there, we can just apply the silicon to the pot. So again, as, uh, as with the lawyers, the thing to do is make sure that you apply the silicon in an even bead so that you get a good seal between the terracotta pot and the pot saucer. Okay, so now that we have the pot saucer attached to the pot, it's time to let the silicon go off. The silicon's gone off now, so we're ready to install the, uh, the last part of uh, how we top this guy up. So the advantage with this system over the Oya is you can put it anywhere as far down into the earth as you want to by varying the length of the pipe that you use to connect your two fittings. 
So in this case just assume the fittings are to go back to back. It's a case of measuring off your plastic tubing, cutting at the right spot. Push the fittings in so they meet and away you go. Now, uh, the only thing left to go is a uh, clear container on top, so that when all this is buried, all you see is the, uh, is the top, uh, and with a plastic container that you fill the water into, that then directs the water down into your uh, buried capsule, but it also means just by walking past you can have a look and see if there's any water in it. If there's water in it, she's full and right to go. If there's no water in the top plastic container, then you know that it's going to uh, to be down within the container itself and uh, it's going to need a top up. So the idea is we want to fix this container on top of here. Uh, as I said, see through so you can see if there's water in this, you know this is full. <clears throat> Easiest way to do that, get yourself a drill with a 19mm spade bit. This is 19mm in there. And away you go. Empty that out. This gets screwed on here. If it's too tight, you might need to give it a bit of sand on the inside, but screws down here. Now the idea is that you uh, put your container into the soil. Same method I used for putting in the oils is a good way. Uh, and the soil's up to here, so this is all that's above the ground. When you need to, you can just fill that full of water, cover it up if you want. You can um, either apply one of the, uh, the hole downs in there, or you can just give it a bit of silicon to make sure it doesn't leak. Um, in our system, uh, I've got a couple of these in the vegetable patches that the chooks go on. Uh, obviously one of the downsides of that is this has to come off every single time the chooks go on there and that's only a couple of times a year but it's still a pain because there's anywhere between four and six of these in a patch uh, and means I've got to um, unscrew this, find somewhere to put it, put the top on so no um, of the uh, no dirt gets put in here by the chooks. So you can just screw on the, the top and that uh, covers it up so there's, that hole is then filled. Uh, with this on though, if I've got to lift the chook tractor over, it's a bit of a pain. Um, now you not only can use these in the ground, they work very very well, uh, a smaller one obviously, uh, in a larger pot we have a, a grapevine on the back uh, deck which is growing in a decent sized pot, about uh, 12, 14 litres and uh, one of these, a smaller one, uh, is in that and we found it works very well. So not only in the ground but in pots as well. Okay, so that's how you can make your own uh, buried capsule irrigators. Um, thanks for watching. If you're interested in what we do, then uh, leave a like down below, a comment. Or, of course, if you want to, you can always subscribe. Mm -hmm.